Hello everybody, Fixer here, and welcome to Test Drive, where we take a game out for a spin to get a first impression. And today we're going to kick the tires off of Spin Tires Mud Runner. So this was announced back in August, and I, I believe the title they announced it was, was Mud Runner, a Spin Tires game, as you can see on the screen. I think they've since changed. I think they're going with Spin Tires Mud Runner. Anyways, this comes out on October 31st, and it'll be $30. However, you get a loyalty discount if you own the first game. Uh, 50% discount, in fact. So, 15 bucks if you own the first game, $30 if you're going into this um, fresh and brand new. Now, um, a PR firm did provide me with a review copy of this game, just for full disclosure. And I'll go into what's going on with the dev team and who's publishing this um, while I'm playing the game. Because there was a little bit of controversy about the dev and the previous publisher in the first game. In fact, that's... That controversy is the reason why I avoided the first game. I actually have never played it. So this is my first uh, introduction to a Spin Tires game. So anyways, real quick, what is new? Um, we have challenges now. Uh, nine different challenges. I don't know if they plan on adding more. But you do have to play each one in order to unlock another. Uh, you have a main objective and then you have some bonus objectives. Like, for instance, this one. You don't drive in the opposite lane. Um, easy enough, but you, do, you have to go without damaging your vehicle. And you have to use a certain camera mode while while going in there, and you get three stars. So you got challenges. You have a single player mode. You have an all new map but this time around. You got 19, I think it's 19 new vehicles or 19 total vehicles. It's 19 total. I don't know how many of them are new. And we have a hardcore mode. And there's also a multiplayer mode. I think it's up to four players in a lobby, something like that. Anyways. I'm going to do a challenge here. We're going to do a repair and refill trucks by using other trucks and deliver logs to the lumber mill. I need to scare 10 birds with my horn. I don't drive over the bridge and I need to squash a pumpkin. Uh, start the challenge. Sure, let's do this. All right, we already know all this. We have an interesting camera in this game. I have played uh, the one challenge. And it, it took me a bit to get the use of the camera. In fact, I'm, not, I'm still not used to the camera. People who play the first game may be used to it. But it, it's it's kind of, it stays focused on the vehicle, but it lets you move around to a, a position that you prefer. Either the side, you can go a little bit above it, I think. Oh, you can go inside it too. Wait, 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 wait. No. A little bit above it, you can go a little bit behind it. To the sides. Very strange. It's it's um, a little difficult for me to, to handle, but like I said, if you played the first one, you probably um, won't have a problem. Uh, to deliver the logs you're carrying to the lumber mill, uh, the current truck needs to first be refueled. I, that's right, I have no fuel. At the bottom left, you'll see how much damage I have to the vehicle. Right above that is the fuel, um, zero liters, and I got my parking brake on. Um, I need to go into advanced mode and change my truck to that fuel truck over there. The current truck can carry fuel, but it's seriously damaged and needs to be repaired. Use a navigation map to switch to a truck that can perform repairs. B66. Okay, so that's me. This is the repair of your... Okay. You can plot a course. We'll do that. And we got to turn right there. Gotcha. I think that's good. All right, so we got a parking brake. We take that off. We start our engine. Some vehicles have all-wheel drive and um, a locking differential. I think I think if you got those on, you use up more fuel. All right, so um, where am I going here? That's got rocks. Is there a way around that? I don't want to go over the rocks. The current vehicle has an add-on utility attachment. Can repair trucks. Okay, cool. I've not repaired trucks, so this is going to be new to me. Um, hope I didn't make a mistake. Looks like I'm good. Wonderful. All right, so about about the dev of this game. Now, there was controversy of the first game. There was a uh, some kind of dispute between the lead dev. All right, there's our vehicles over there, and the publisher. I think the publisher was Uvi. I don't remember the name of the dev. Uh, about payments. The dev just said that they, he wasn't getting his proper payments. Publisher said he was. And it put the game, like, it stalled out the game. Uh, let's park right next to it, I think. The game pretty much got abandoned. All right, advanced mode. Um, utility attachment. Damage, 500, 500 repair. 
Okay. Um, I don't need the engine on. So can I hop over to this now? Lovely. Drive to the fuel station to get fuel. Oh, 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 don't get ahead of myself. All right, I need to go to the fuel station. Gotcha. Oops, wrong button. F1. Um, all right. The game got, the original game got abandoned. Long story short. So it came as a shock when this was announced in August. And not only that, it had a different developer and a different publisher attached to it. So it's now being published by Focus Home, which um, they've been hit or miss in the games. They've, they've done some good ones. They've done like, uh, they did Sticks, they did Football Manager, or Football League Manager. I don't remember what it's called. Let's, uh, let's get our locking differential going on this thing. And it's being developed by, I think, is it Saber Interactive? Saber 3D? Saber Interactive. It's the same thing. Their website is Saber 3D. Okay. And, um... I guess they, they, the, the guy who had the dispute with the original game, he is now part of Saber Interactive. So, I guess this is what... I guess he sold the rights to the new dev. I don't know. Stop the fuel. Oh, oh, oh. Fill up. Truck automatically refilled. Can I get more? Now drive back. I want more fuel. There we go. Either way, the dev who designed the first game is still involved. He's just with a new team. It's not a newly put together team. It's an old team, but new to him. Uh, do I not have... Uh-oh. I probably don't need it, but, you know, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And Focus Home has got at least, you know, money behind it. So, if Focus Home wasn't involved, I probably wouldn't be taking a chance on this. Um, I'm having to... Oh, I bet you... I wonder if there is an actual weight issue here, you know? Now that I'm full of fuel, I'm having a more difficult time going through the mud. That's kind of neat. Uh, gives you an incentive not to fuel it all the way to the top, right? Hilarious. I'm very interested to see what you can do with the multiplayer here. Um, I dare say I'd be more interested in racing these vehicles. That seems like it could be fun. So refuel the truck, center, uh, enter advanced mode, and select the fuel cistern. All right, switch to the C-255. All right, I got me a truck. And it has a... All right, this one's gonna be probably difficult. Where are we going with this, down there? All right, so let's go through here. I wonder what's that over there? Is this shorter but more difficult? I don't know. We'll go this route. Lovely. All right, let's get our all-wheel drive going. So yeah, I don't think I've I've done any kind of um Oh shit. I bet you this can't make it across there. Oh, hold on. I wonder if I could drive... You know what? I'm going to go over here first. I have a feeling if I go across that bridge, it's going to tumble. I want to see if it's shallow over here. Oh, oh. I got to be careful because I am pulling... I don't know if you guys can see it. This is not attached. This right here in the back... This is not attached to me. So I feel like, I feel very vulnerable on tipping this thing over. So I gotta be careful not to get too wild, right? Can I cross that? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. 
I may have made a bad decision already. <laughs> this feels like a bad decision. Alright, guys. Here we go. Oh. Alright, I'm okay. Not a bad decision. Yet. Shallow enough there, and this vehicle was strong enough to get through there. Lovely. Okay, cool. I thought for sure I was going down. So that means I need to I, I need to remap, right? How do I how do I get rid of these? Is there an easy way? Nope, nope. There we go. Get out of there. This looks like it could be crazy, though. We'll see. Yeah, I would really like to check out the multiplayer. I don't know if Modi is going to get his hands on this. If he is, I'll probably pester him to try out some multiplayer and see how that goes. Oh, boy. Lots of water. Alright, I don't... I don't need to go that way. That's... That's me... Oh, God, I'm gonna tip! Oh! No tipping. You do have winches on these vehicles as well, so if you do get stuck, you can actually tie a winch to trees, I think? I don't know if you can tie it to anything other than trees, though. Like tree stumps or other vehicles. I've not done that, so I, I'm not too sure. This looks dangerous. I'm obviously going to have an issue backing this up. It's going to want me to back it up, isn't it? Um... Aha! Unload! Repair and refuel, you've completed a challenge! Um, oh, I didn't scare birds, I completely forgot about my horn. And I didn't find and squash a pumpkin. I don't know if you can leave your vehicle, I don't think you can. Fuel consume 43 liters. Turn to main menu. Lovely! Fantastic! Um, I did play the tutorials, exactly what a tutorial looks like. I'm gonna show you this real quick. There is a few maps in here. You've got the bog, you got the island. Um, I don't know what you need to do. One more progression point required for the seashore. I gotcha. I haven't seen the island yet. Let's take a quick look at that before I close this out. I want to see what we start with. Alright. We got a few vehicles here. Lovely. Let's see what the map looks like. There's a garage, a fuel station. Um, do we have fuel? We got fuel in here. What do I need to do? Go get some logs? There is the lumber mill. I'm guessing we go to the log station here. Deliver eight load points to each lumber mill. Um, log station there. There is the lumber mill, zero of eight. And am I blind? Where is the... It said each lumber mill. Where is the other lumber... Oh, Jesus, it's right here, right in front of me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's grab me a log carriage. There we are. And I don't think I need anything else. Can I Can I move my camera? There we go. Spare wheel? Um, sure. I don't know if that's a bad thing to have. I don't think I need any trailers. I'm gonna go with that. All right, let's uh, let's uninstall. No, 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 no. Let's go check this place out. I start right here. I'm gonna go this way. Let's see what's over there. How do I get over there? All right, I need a better angle here. Oh, I should probably show you guys. Hold on. There you go, cockpit view. Now, 
I don't know if you can look to the sides or not while in cockpit view. I did use it in the tutorial and I couldn't figure it out. I'm not sure if there is a way to look to the sides or if you're just stuck like this here. All right, let's go across this, I guess. Um, am I making it over? I am, okay, good. Let's get all-wheel drive on. So we are heading... Can I, there, somewhere over that way. Of course, I don't know where the road is over here, but that's part of the fog of war, I guess, right? Oh man, this is some rough terrain. Can this vehicle handle this? Oh boy. This may have been a bad idea driving over this stuff. It took some damage. I'm not gonna go up to the left there. I'm gonna try to go around a little bit. Now I know that you can rep oh boy. You can repair some of the damage. Hold on. I went out of this view. Oh, 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 oh. Is that some kind of valley? Hold on, can I go around this way? Alright, this is better. I know you can take your vehicle to the garage and get it repaired there as well. If you don't have a repair vehicle. Ooh. I love just plowing over the trees. It's badass. I need to go that way. Oh, oh. I'm gonna wreck my shit. The train looks a lot rougher when you get closer to it. It's hard to gauge sometimes for me. All right, let's uh, let's make a, oh boy, hold on. This looks like some sort of road. What? What I hit? What is that over there? I'm gonna park inside. Oh! That's a new vehicle, isn't it? What is that? Um... Is this better? I have no idea. I'm gonna leave... I'm gonna leave that other vehicle running. Um, where am I at? Alright, I'm still going out this way. We're not very far, actually. Wait a minute. That's where we're going. Where's that arrow at? I'll just plow through that fence, I don't care. Well, what do you know? The logs. Uh oh. Now, do I have to stop in the logs or in the log station? I'm not too sure. Choose log type. Can I do medium? Can I do large? No. Wait a minute. I don't know if that will fit. I don't think it... I don't know if it will. We'll do it anyway. Okay. Three. How do I get him in my vehicle now? Do I need to go in the station itself? Someone's jammies are on the line. Click to activate... No, I don't need to do that. I wonder, you know, there is a vehicle that lets you lift logs. I wonder if you have to do that here as well. Either way, I think there may be a vehicle that you need.
to actually lift the logs from one vehicle to the other. I don't know. All right, guys, so that's it. That's Spin Tires Mud Runner. Again, it comes out October 31st uh, for $30. If you have the original game, Spin Tires, you do get a 50% loyalty discount, so 15 bucks over on Steam. And they're selling this as the ultimate version of the original game. So what do you guys think? You want to see more of this on my channel? You want to see me stream this perhaps maybe? Uh, let me know what you guys uh, want to see. And um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.